Watch to the end to see how you can easily make this nine layer density tower. I also put all the information in the description below. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, we are gonna make a really cool density tower here. We're gonna make nine layers of liquids poured in here, but because they're different densities, they're gonna rest on top of each other. They're not gonna mix. We have honey, corn syrup, maple syrup, milk, vegetable oil, sorry, dishwashing liquid, water, vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol, and lamp oil. So we're gonna layer them in one by one, and you'll see that they don't mix with each other. I'm putting the honey in first. And that's one right there. One layer. After, by the way, after we put all these nine liquids in, we're gonna put all these different objects in, solids, to see how far they fall. And you'll see they're gonna do something really cool. Okay, so we got the honey. Next, we do the corn syrup. Now I'm gonna use this, what's it called? Um, turkey blaster, turkey baster, to fill it up. Because if you just pour it in, it might mix just based on the force of it falling down this big, big glass thingy here. So you sort of wanna maybe drip it along the sides. The bottom layer is honey, then there's corn syrup, maple syrup, milk, dish soap, water, and it's green because of the food coloring, vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol, also colored blue from food coloring, and lamp oil on top. Now we're not done yet because we are going to take different items and drop it in to see where they land. First thing, we're gonna drop a screw. And it landed on the bottom layer. Next, we're gonna take some popcorn kernels, or rather, a popcorn kernel, and drop it in. Let's follow it. Should land in the corn syrup. There it is. It's actually in the maple syrup. There's a screw. There's a popcorn kernel. Next, we're gonna take a die. And this should land. Well, let's just find out. This actually landed in between the screw and the kernel. Next, we're gonna have a cherry tomato. Let's see where it lands. It doesn't go very far, as you see. Once everything settles, it landed and is staying in the dish soap right underneath the water. There's a cherry tomato. Next, we're gonna drop 
some beads in. And let's see where the beads land. Can you see them? They're floating in the vegetable oil. They're not dropping, they're just hanging out there, right on top of the cherry tomato. Then, we have a soda cap. We're gonna drop it in. Originally, it's gonna float. That is there. And last but not least, we top it off with the ping pong ball. So there you have it. Nine different layers, all sitting right on top of each other. I think this looks so cool. It looks amazing and there's different stuff floating in it, like I showed you before. Again, the different layers are honey, corn syrup, maple syrup, milk, dish soap, water with the green food coloring in it, vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol with blue food coloring in it, and lamp oil. And the things that are floating inside, starting from the bottom, is the screw, the die, the popcorn kernel, the cherry tomato, the beads that you see right here in the level of the vegetable oil, the soda cap, and the ping pong ball. Now, before we end the video, I'm just gonna give this a quick mix to see what happens to all the layers. Are you ready? Making a little bit of a mess, but really thick on the bottom. Now you see, even after, even after I mixed it up, it still looks like layers. It's still just a little mixed in, but the different layers are there. Really cool experiment. You could do this at home easily. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.